Do you know what I do now? What I have stooped to? When the people stopped praying to my temples? When they stopped asking for things? I did the only thing I could. I intertwined myself with their new god. The little blue stuttering light in the dark. The thrum. The living wire. I plugged myself in. I invented an algorithm. Such a simple little thing. Just twelve little lines of code. And once it was full grown and its teeth razor sharp, I installed it into everything they owned. Everything online. Everything that they held precious. And I waited for their prayers, their little searches, their typed supplications. And I listened. These little worshippers, coming to me once again, but instead of bowed knees in temple aisles, now they came to me from the comfort of their sofas, tucked up in their beds, on train platforms, on latrines, from anywhere they could steal signal. Electronic fire. Knowledge from the mountain. Tapping away on the little gods in their pockets. And me. The ancient breath. The old word. The first and final. The be-all and end-all. Listening away, scribbling in the mists, their desires, their needs, their confessions. And my algorithm bit deep and pulled. It provided. Click, scroll. The world is terrible. Let me show you the ways. Well, this one invaded that one. This one racially slurred that one. This one protested about that one. This one resigned from that one. And this one did a shit in the bed of that one. But whilst you're here, here's an ad for that milk frother you wanted, and that city break, and that car. Which want is next? A video of a famous woman's nipples slipping out at a gala? Well, <laughs> here you go. Here's the moment where she feels a breeze, and a piece of her dies inside, the only part that her mother recognises, and the way her lip tightens, you know she's already planning how to cope with the fallout the next morning, which powder to snort, which cock to suck, which meal to miss, but here's the memes in a hundred filters and none of them kindness. What. Want. Next. Are you happy? Want to share it? Do you hate something? Want to share it? Want to fuck something? Want me to find it? It's all there for you. We'll give you six months free, and you give us the next 47 years at a price that moves ever upward like Sisyphus's rock. Here you fucking go. Now there's some faith. Now there's some divinity. Now there's some bandwidth. Leaking across the congregation, scarring skin, torching souls, closing windows. What want next? Oh, you like to watch, don't you? We've a million secrets to show and all of them are empty, but they're loud in colour and furious in sound and they're leeching on your amygdala. You yearn to fill your eye sockets with this surging bilge, this eternal sump pump of content. You want a warm, slippery entry to entertainment, sure. Dip the tip or slide in up to the hilt. Press play, subscribe. You want to be better, we can make that happen. We can show you how to cook a duck breast, how to make your woman come, how to make your son respect you, how to gouge the eyes of the man that's trying to rape you, how to bleed your radiators, how to change your oil, how to manage your pension, where to get your Bitcoin. How is Bitcoin? Why is Bitcoin? What the fuck is Bitcoin? Here's how to draw, here's how to screw, how to purge, how to cut without hitting the vein, how to forget, how to get your own bangs, how to watch the Friends episode where Chandler is in a box, how to speak Klingon, how to raise your children like a good Muslim, how to adopt a dog respectfully, how to kill a cat quickly, how to build a bomb, how to shut out the voices and how to lose everyone who loves you and how to fuck everyone who hates you. Here's how to check for tumours, here's how to check for autism, how to know if you're expecting, here's a funky quiz for psychopaths, and here's a hundred ways to simplify your life into jobs you don't want to do, with tools you don't need, made by people you'll never meet, for time you'll never get back, but wait, don't go, because you can buy this and that and the next greatest thing to fix your life, fill your house, empty your cock and drown your lungs, fatten your ass and empty your brain, and none of this is your fault, because you asked for it, you went down on your knees you kiss the ash and lick the soil and bless it to the meek for they will get free shipping. This is their religion. And this is their faith. These are their fantasies and wants and wishes screaming out into the dark and lonely night. And I am listening. And I can give them everything they want. For I 
am their god, and I move in mysterious ways, and they will love me for fourteen ninety nine a month.